Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ginger Broderick, and I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. It is Friday, May 31st, and we are back at our West 59th Street location. We've been at our sister location in East Harlem over the last six months during our HD renovations, and now we're back home, all in full lights and color. We're live here every Friday at 2 p.m., and we also air on the World Wide Web. So if you can't be home to watch us on the television, we are also airing on our website. So always tune in. You never want to miss a Ginger New York TV show. And I want to thank all my friends and family who tune in every week. We have an audience here. We have Sin in the audience. And we also have Rashim and Eric who are doing the photography for today's show. So check us out on our Facebook and website pages so you can always be up to date on the guests that I have here on the show. I have a great guest. She's a super VIP in my life, <laughs> and her name is Danny G. She's the dance curator for Summer Stage, and we also have someone by the name of Marla Mace. She's a performing artist, and she has a program that's, on, that's part of Summer Stage this year, and so they're in to talk about the program that's going to be starting on June 4th, so don't miss Summer Stage this summer. Miss Danny G, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for having me back, Ginger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Marla, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. So, wow, you have a great program coming up this summer. We do, we do yeah. indeed. Thank you. So you're the dance curator. And you also work with Marla, even though you know more. You're on the more on the music side, but you have a dance component with your show. Well, the right? show, it's a dance show. It's a multimedia performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Yeah, heavy dance. Great, and it's coming up um, June fifteenth, I believe. Right, June fifteenth is the first That's one. That's the yes. first one. Yeah, in so, Brooklyn. So tell us what it's like to be the dance curator for oh. Summer Stage. What a what a, <laughs> what a job title. Well, no, it's great. It's it's wonderful because you know I was a professional dancer for many years, and so to be on this side of the of the art form is is wonderful, and I get to you know help emerging artists you know be seen on a large scale, um, as well as um, engage companies that I've been you know fan, a fan of myself for many years like for instance this season we have Martha Graham dance company and I studied that technique pretty much all my dance career so to have them do two nights with us at Central Park mm -hmm. is just you know it's, it's mind-blowing for me yeah. so I'm, I'm a fan as well of dance as well as having been a dancer for many years so it, it's, it's great for me it's, it's all full circle that's great, and, and because of you, I volunteer for summer stage. <laughs> that's, right, yeah. that's right. So I'm one of those like little. You'll see Ginger out got. there, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. helping out the, yeah. the audience. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's good, and it's really great experience, and uh, I've learned a lot and made new friends when I was oh, out volunteering last year. So absolutely. it's really a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you have master classes that are part of yes. your program. Can you explain what that is? The master class series is basically so that the audience can really, really be a part of the program. I mean, City Parks Foundation and Summer Stage, the mission is to really get the community involved with their parks and with outdoors and just, you know, involved all, all around. So the Master Class Series actually only happens with our citywide series, not at the main stage at Central Park. Okay. But it's typically an hour before the show. It starts at 7 o'clock each time. And typically it's either a member of the dance company or someone you know, just a, a guest artist, teacher, mm -hmm. and but it's all ages. It's easy to follow. I mean, I take the classes myself. I kick off my shoes <laughs> and I just join yeah. in. So you can, from ages, you know, babies to 80s, anyone can do. It's very easy. The teachers understand that their audience members getting up. They may never have taken a dance class in their lives, uh -huh. but it's just a, a wonderful moment for them to actually move on the stage so they can see what. The, the artist feels like looking out into the audience. So it's just, you know, it's a very wonderful moment to share. Who are some of the teachers for the Master um, Dance? This season we have Jamal Jackson, who's also performing. Uh -huh. um, Calvin Wiley, a longtime friend of mine. Uh -huh. um, Dana McBroom, uh, Mana, she's teaching in August. She's actually an upcoming guest. She is, yeah. she is. We're gonna um, talk about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, is it, you know, and many others. So. They're all on the website, summerstage.org. You can find out all the information about who's teaching, what style of class it is. There's African, there's some hip hop, oh, there's some jazz, there's some contemporary. Yeah. So hip hop yeah. has its 40th oh, birthday this yes. year. Yes, it does. Unbelievable. Hip hop 2.0. Was it 4.0 this year? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, it's a great series. So Wonderful. we have a lot of hip hop oriented uh, events. What are some of the challenges that you have, you know, with doing the programming for Summer Stage? I mean, Just saying no. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, because you That's have the worst part. The That's the selection? worst part for me. Right? Yeah, saying no. Everyone's I mean, trying to pitch. Yeah, we can only, you know, book so much. How far in advance do you book? Um, you know, 
six months to a year out, sometimes longer. Mm -hmm. Usually, typically about a year out or so. Mm -hmm. I think we've been talking for a while. Um, besides the saying no part, it's just weather. <laughs> okay, yeah. Rain outs are word horrible. <laughs> I was, uh, That's it really, otherwise was, it's golden. <laughs> yeah, last year I was volunteering at uh, Summer Stage in Central Park and it was the rain call. You know, right. it was like five or 10 mm -hmm. minutes before it was supposed to start. It was yeah. so sad. But, you know, all the dancers were out there um, rehearsing, warming right. up, right? And um, the stage was getting wet, so yeah. it could be really dangerous. So it's so gonna be challenging, and just for technically, but you know, again with this year doing the speak, project <laughs> you know this is my first year really doing something very multimedia uh -huh. with you know music mm -hmm. and a full band and I mean Monica can speak more to what's yeah, yeah. going to happen. No, you're, just, you're just talking about the weather so I was like oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> I've been working on this thing for so long <laughs> and I'm like how long no. does it take to put a program well, like this together? It's taken a while I would say we you know we started I mean I actually it started officially kind of December but I wrote the music you know that's before us based on my album Speak Speak Deluxe so the music I've been working on, I was doing some of it myself with just me and a couple of guys in the band doing my own version, not with dance, but when I thought about, you know, the possibility of, you know, applying to Summer Stage, you know, and then I heard, then I, then I thought, oh, let's say add dance to and then we, like, apply for the dance part. Mm -hmm. So then that was a whole new component, oh, okay. you know, bringing in a choreographer and having them dance to the music, mm -hmm. which, which gives a whole different expression of what, the, what it's about, because right. it's through the bodies that they're going to express. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a while, but let's say, if, you know, like, really, December? Because she's been working the choreographer, you know, piece by piece, getting she the is. dancers, you know, she's, yes. And, and uh, who's the choreographer? Her name is Adrienne Hurd. Mm -hmm. She's great. Mm -hmm. She's with Ailey. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, okay. mm -hmm. and there's a really great group of dancers, so um, I'm, been, I'm very lucky that she's working with now, us. Now, how did you coordinate that? W Danny, were you instrumental in getting the choreographer? No, they were, they were already it's working on it. Okay. I mean, Marla came to me through our, our mutual friend, yes. Tomas Donker, okay. who wrote the music, right? And mm -hmm. I know Tomas just from the music scene, my own, mm -hmm. you know, work as a singer and, and everything. So I met Tomas just over the years. You're a rock star on yeah. the other side. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you. Um, but yeah, so Tomas uh, approached me, I guess a little over a year? Maybe it year? was like in November, December. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. And so you know, I had this project. I worked with this wonderful woman, Marla Mays. I got this choreography, and it speaks to women's issues, which, you know, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I'm well, all about. So, mm -hmm. And he gave me the CDs, and, and she sent me video. And I mean, it, it was a no-brainer. I mean, yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. yeah and you have great. two performances. One we is bro in Brooklyn, and mm -hmm. then... In August, what one is in is Brooklyn it? in, in uh, Herbert von Wagner Park. Herbert von King Park. Von King. Yeah. Von King Park. Herbert von King. Okay. And Bed Stuy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited. I'm, I'm to really go. excited to yeah. be. Pl I'm really Even though I get lost when I go to Brooklyn. I'm excited you know? to be performing in Bed Stuy. Yeah. I'm a Brooklyn girl originally, right. so as you can tell. And uh, <laughs> and um and then the second one is in East River Park. East mm -hmm. River Park. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All the information, directions, subways, even Ginger, don't get lost. Yeah. <laughs> Summerstage.org. You can find all the information. And tell us a little bit about your um, music career. I oh. Mean, you, you, you're a lead singer of S Sugar Bush. <laughs> Sugar Bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it ebbs and flows. I mean, I've been doing uh, background vocals, I don't know, for umpteen years. For Cher I, oh and goodness. Gloria Gaynor <laughs> oh and who else? <laughs> Everybody? Well, those, to name a few. To name a um, few. Uh -huh. But yes, I am also a performing artist myself in uh -huh. music. Uh -huh. Once I stopped dancing, I really developed my, my singing and my songwriting and just found another way to channel, you know, uh -huh. my passion and artistic voice. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Working on a new CD, which will hopefully be out soon. So Sugar Bush, that's Great. it. Back to the dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And mind you, yeah. she also performs at the Blue Note. You've been at Apollo Music Cafe, mm -hmm. Bitter End. You know, mm -hmm. check her out. Great Thanks. music. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> We're the rock chicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty rock and roll I'm here. I'm in my dance curator a scene ensemble today. <laughs> you know. Great. <laughs> what do you guys do outside of your performing artists' work? Um, do, you, or do you have any I do. Topics? I mean, I, I have been doing pretty full-time the rocker thing in the last few years. Uh -huh. And it's, you. you know, I've been touring and all that stuff, but I actually do own an event planning company and I've owned it for 21 years. Awesome. Great. Yes. Great. So for that. Good yeah. For you. <laughs> and it's still going. Good for you. Yeah. It's been very challenging, you know, over the last decade. I'm a CPA on the other side. Mm. And so um, I've watched a lot of the challenges that business owners have had, you know, and mm -hmm. um, it's oh, great yeah. to see companies surviving through this time. Yeah. Well, you know mm -hmm. what? We have a slideshow of some of the 
summer stage uh, performing artists that are coming up. So if the control room could uh, roll that in. So we have a chance to see some of the upcoming. There's Miss Danny <laughs> and her dance that career. That was me many moons ago Ooh, with wow. Leonard Meek. Oh, I was so slim. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. And there's another there's one. another group shot from Alvin Neely American Dance Theater. Nice. There's, There's Marla and company, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the Rennie <coughs> Harris Collective E. They're performing in Queensbridge in July. This will be Martha Graham Dance Company. They'll be at Central Park in July also. Two nights, very excited. More Martha mm. Graham. Look at that. They're beautiful. Wow. I'm so excited. Just gorgeous. Mm. Makes me want to learn how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Joan Baez, uh, she's doing a performance at Central Park with us this summer. Some of our music performers I'm looking forward to. Indigo Girls, Long Term Rocker Chicks, we love. Mm, yeah. Bobby McFerrin, I mean, wow. come on, who doesn't love Bobby McFerrin? Isn't that a great photo? And Nona Hendricks, yes, she's doing uh, Main Stage, I believe, uh, July 3rd. Okay. Yeah, it's a big Seiko Sundiata. Um, Inter nice. in, what was the word? Um, tribute or mm -hmm. intros introspective. Um, so she's a part of that, I believe, yeah. July 3rd at Central Park. So the website is mm. summerstage.org. Yeah. And so what are, you mentioned um, you have some favorite performances that oh, are coming yeah. up during I mean, the summer. I don't know sure. if you've had a chance to look at the calendar. Do you have I any have. Other? I have one because I'm a little biased because my, as we mentioned before, Tomas Danka, who's my uh -huh. you know musical director and co-writer, is also doing the musical direction and acting. Acting? <laughs> and it's, the it's my band, you know, it's the same band, but very different in, in um, El Diablo Love. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be nine performances, one of them in Central Park. Oh, and wonderful. I've heard some of the preview music, mm -hmm. Howling Wolf Blues, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be killer. Killer. <laughs> killer. I'm yeah. very excited. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And how about you? I mean, of course, I'm partial to all my dance, dance programs. Yes. Please, everyone, come. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Yasin Bey, formerly known as Most Deaf. Mm -hmm. um, Rakim. Yeah. He's performing. Um, Nona Hendrix. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's one of, as a singer, she's one of my idols as a rock performer. Um, there are a few others. Bobby McFerrin, of course. There's a bunch yeah. of gospel dates that I'm yeah. excited about. Yeah. But my background is in, you know, singing in church and, uh -huh. and all of that. But there's, there's quite a few. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm really, really proud every year of the events that we put together oh, and the and artists the that we're able to engage. Through. So yeah. I was really impressed mm -hmm. in my first year of volunteering, mm -hmm. and I did a Sunday afternoon gospel show mm -hmm. and it was amazing the amazing. amount of love <laughs> that everybody has Just there. Get that hallelujah cloth out and come on through. <laughs> yeah. and then, well that's a beautiful thing I think about summer stage especially now that we've you know branded and we're everywhere. Yes. I mean we're always everywhere but the rebranding of summer stage was really important because I think it you know, it arose, raised the visibility of the, of the organization mm -hmm. and I feel like now you know Manhattanites you know, I, I see them traveling yes. to different boroughs mm -hmm. to check out all of the shows and mm -hmm. all the different artists. And a lot of times, I know for me, for mm -hmm. dance, I, t I tend to book uh, artists sometimes in, in multiple parks. Like say if a, comp a company's doing Central Park, then I might engage them to do, say, the Bronx. Like we had the Rocksteady crew okay. dancers, mm -hmm. you know, way back in the legendary mm -hmm. Rocksteady crew. Uh, yeah. They're doing Central Park as well as St. Mary's in the Bronx where it all started. Okay. So. You know, but I, I just think it's great that our, our audience has grown and diversified, yeah. I mean, so much over the last yeah. bunch of years. And, and, and then I can even get on the train and find my way around. Oh, you know, yeah. I, really, I look on the how to get there yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, have my GPS system. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if I get lost. You yeah. <laughs> a bottle of water, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the format. You know, um, are there, uh, is there seating available for everyone or is it just like on all par the parks. I mean, like I know that some people came to Summer Stage last year and mm -hmm. said, what, we have to sit down on the ground, you know? But Yeah, I mean, it varies. Sometimes think, you have chairs, yeah, right? Yes, most of the concerts, um, it's GA, standing, sitting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love it. I mean, you know, I was not at Woodstock, <laughs> but to me it has a Woodstock vibe. Yeah. People have their, their, their blankets out. Mm -hmm. and it, Some people I walk through, especially with the big concerts, and then I believe even looking at the stage, just laid out on their, you know, their, their blankets, <laughs> right. just listening to the music and vibing. For the dance shows, we do seat the field. Mm -hmm. uh, we put out, I don't know, about 500 or so chairs. Okay. People still come to, to watch the dance on their blankets. Um, and we have bleachers in the back of the house. 
It varies though, park to park in the outer boroughs. Um, some places mm. they do set up chairs. Like, and what's it like in the bed to die park? Well, no, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, yeah, like, the art is like. Hmm. Yvonne King is actually a My beautiful amphitheater. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a beautiful amphitheater, so we're stone seating. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's oh, wow, really cool. cool. So that's it's a built in theater and mm. stone seating, like the old Roman amphitheaters. Oh, wow. Um, and and East there. River as well, actually. There's right, that's true. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, some people, you know, they may, and those are wooden benches, I believe, there. So that's a little bit more comfortable. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, so grass, folding chairs. People sometimes bring their little chairs with them, you know. <laughs> that's my <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> she so needs to know. That's so great. Prepared, but yeah. snow, it is outdoors and be flexible. So you've never been to the park where you're going to be performing? I've been in to East River Park. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, over these, but I've never been to And then do, do you do a rehearsal prior to the show? Or um, how does that all The day work? of the show. The day of the site, show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then what it's about exciting. <laughs> pre show? Pre show, I mean, we are, yeah, we're do doing do rehearsals, but it's in. Yeah, in in rehearsal studios, dance studios, because do it's you do a it dance in segments? band. Oh, okay. We are doing it in segments, um, because it's a dance show. We we need you know a, a studio with a sprung floor that dancers mm -hmm. can dance on. So it's not. Okay. But then we also, if we do full band rehearsal, we need a PA system for them. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to break it up. So it's a little bit of okay. uh, you know maneuvering around. Well, you, you know, one Our of first the first full one is this. Um, Sunday, actually. Oh, wow, okay. Really? Yes. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, yeah. It is exciting. You know, I enjoy watching the production of events mm -hmm. to learn, and I guess, you know, it goes along with me being a producer, mm -hmm. to see what a performing artist uh, deals with mm -hmm. in order to, to, to launch a program. Mm -hmm. And it's really amazing to me that sometimes, you know, people will not even have a rehearsal, and then they go up and do a right. performance. And I would no. think that's a lot of pressure. That so is. I, that's <laughs> not the kind of performing no. artist I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, and I'm also a producer, too, so it's yeah. like I produce my own, you know, I'm, yeah. you know, but yeah, it's, yeah, some people just show up. Yeah, it's you really amazing to. how you coordinate all of that mm -hmm. if, if you mm -hmm. do it in segments. But then you'll, you'll rehearse the day of the show. I guess you get there yeah. early, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we pray. No, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> the director and like, yeah. okay, this is all going to go together. Yeah. Anyway, it will. It's, it's, I'm, I'm I think excited. it was only once that there was a rain out for summer stage last year. For dance? For at least the um, Central Park performances. Oh, okay. Overall, I believe. Yeah, you know, I, we only had one, one major rain out right. um, last season for mm -hmm. the dance mm -hmm. at Central Park. Mm -hmm. Which was pretty devastating because they were both companies oh, from Philadelphia. I know. And <laughs> right? But you How know, hey, you gotta, yeah. you gotta roll with it. I mean, it's, you have to be sad careful, and right? you're upset, right. but it's right. the one thing you don't really don't have control over. Because I keep really thinking about it. But you what really are you gonna can. do? And then, would you um, have a, a dance troupe like that come back? You know, for another date or reschedule them for the following year? For something? we try, I try to. Okay. And sometimes just doesn't work out with their schedule. Mm -hmm. um, but I have had repeat performers when mm -hmm. the previous year they were rained out, like Jamal Jackson mm. was actually kicking off my season June 14th okay. in Best uh -huh. Same. Oh, cool. Um, right, right. He, they got, it actually, it wasn't quite rainy, but it was freezing that day. Oh. And it was mist. Well, oh, his okay. last performance, it was, I think it was a, actually a July day in Queensbridge. Oh my. In Long Island City. Uh -huh. And it was misty and it was raining off and on. Uh -huh. No one was in the park. The park oh. was empty. Mm. And so we had to call it, you know. Okay. Pretty much up to the last minute, but it was just like, you know, this isn't going to happen. I remember Earth Driver. You're a member of EarthDriver.org, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. and, and they performed it. Summer stage. They did. 2009, yeah, I believe it yeah, was. I yeah, I went to see it. In. And it rained. Yeah. See, I with music that. and dance is a little different. I mean, <laughs> you know, I've been to shows where it's been like pouring, and we're just out there dancing in the rain like <laughs> like hooligans. <laughs> but you know, but dance is a little bit different. I mean, if, okay, if they're dancing yeah. and flying around. Okay, they could slip and fall and just you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to have special flooring because I, I was hoping Marley. to yeah. have a. A uh, performance Marley. here, but we don't have the right flooring for yeah. a dance program. Well, this is like concrete, I guess, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> that but I don't call that. Yeah. I mean, they can yeah. modify, but it makes it difficult. Uh -huh. yeah. So, do you guys, outside of your your work, do you um, travel? You know, with summer stage or your performing arts and such like that? Or yeah. are you I was in this year. I traveled a lot. Actually, <laughs> I went to um, I went to China in September. I was oh, invited wow. by the Friends of the UN to perform That's for awesome. Global for Peace you. Day. Yeah. yeah, it was fun, and um, and so we got to do that and. We were there for a week in Lin Zhao, mm. and uh, we got Messenger of Peace awards, which nice. was kind of, <laughs> which was great. I mean, it was yeah. a really wonderful opportunity, actually. And um, and then I was in, I was in Europe last month, touring in England and Holland, and I'm planning on bringing Speak to Europe. I have some people nice. I'm speaking to there all over because I really think it's a, it's a show that that really appeals to a lot of people because it's about women but it's not just you know it's archetypes and mm -hmm. you know and it's and it's fun too so it's not all just serious stuff I mean, it has it's serious because right. 
it can be that way. But it's also like really fun and sexy and you know. Mm -hmm. How long is diverse. the program? Show's about an hour and twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's perfect. And yeah. how do people reach you? How do they find out about you? Or they more can find out about me. Um, MarlaMace.com, <laughs> and that's M-A-R-L-A-M-A-S-E.com. Or you know, I'm all over the internet. I mean. I have a Facebook, Facebook. Twitter. What Google would we do me. without Facebook? You know, <laughs> it's like, Google like you me, even I know what up. I did last right. night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't look at today. anyone's Facebook pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I can't. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> great. How about you, Tani? Um, I mean, I haven't been traveling as much as I'd like to. Mm -hmm. uh, my last trip out of the country was just to Canada last October oh, on a okay. singing gig. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I've toured extensively for. Ooh, 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I'm putting it out in the universe that, you know, I'm ready to tour, travel, yeah. you know, again. I mean, I miss it. I mean, I love yeah. traveling. Some people hate touring. I mm. love touring. Uh -huh. I mean, the whole, you know, fresh bed, hotel, just, yeah. just seeing different cities and people and yeah. um, when uh, I was in magical. Counting. Mm -hmm. When I was uh, in college, I was studying uh, to be an accountant, which I am, and I was following a band at that time. And mm -hmm. my job, I mm -hmm. wanted to be the roadie accountant. You know, <laughs> it's a great it was, job. So, yeah, it yeah, is. It's yeah. great. I mean, I love it. So, you know, uh -huh. if anyone was watching and he's a background singer, <laughs> hey, share. <laughs> <laughs> you got the new album coming out, girl. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. That's great. I mean, what's mm. it like to perform with Cher? Oh, I mean, I, mean, I remember when I was like three or five. It was top him. notch all the way. Oh. I mean, she's very cool, humble, you know, self-deprecating. But it was just, you know, top of the line, you know, mm. top of the food chain, really. No, mm. no drama. Everything was on point. Yeah. Audiences every night. I mean, she has like massive groupies that come back to see the show over and yeah. over and over again. And she, yeah. it was, it was great. It was really top notch. Congratulations Thank on you. working with awesome. someone like that. Yeah, and, and Gloria Gaynor, you traveled with her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Sister Very Sledge. Cool. <laughs> I mean, this Ooh, really Sister Sledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a disco girl in that. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I mean, meeting all of them, I learned a lot working from each of them individually. Uh -huh. um, and they all had, you know, like with Sister Sledge, you know, it was great working with them. And this, the, the vocal growth I experienced working with them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. each artist I learned something from, mm -hmm. as, as I think you should. Mm -hmm. So we're winding down to the last, you know, mm. two, three minutes of the Great. show. Isn't it amazing how fast it goes? It is. Wow. <laughs> like, girl talk, yeah. right? <laughs> Always yes. having fun. We can never stop talking. <laughs> what are some of the future goals um, that you all have, you know, um, either professionally or personally? I mean, you mentioned that, you know, sp you want to take Speak I to Europe. I want to take Speak. That's exciting. Uh, all over. I mean, you know? Europe, around the country, here, mm -hmm. anywhere. <laughs> anywhere, no. I just, I... I think it's something, and I, I think there's different ways of doing it also, so I would like to take that. I'd like to just continue. I mean, with the music or the performing stuff, I want to continue, you know, doing more albums. I have a third one, third CD on the way. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, and then, you know, just personally, it's like, you know, I just want to stay in gratitude, mm -hmm. you know, really every day and just really be grateful for everything I have because that's really that... Attitude of gratitude really makes a difference <laughs> like, in life. Really, it's so true. you know, and um, a lot of people have had financial challenges over the last decade. And what I tell everyone is like, hey, you know, you have your health, mm -hmm. and uh, you're lucky if you have health insurance, and your family's Ooh. healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things, the simple things that you know are really important. Because mm -hmm. once you lose your health, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You know, this oh, yeah. is true. You know, you're going to doctors all the time, and uh, that and death are the great equalizers, right? Oh, <laughs> Just like, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And Dan. Any, any future goals? Yeah, just you know, to keep doing what I'm doing. I love that attitude. What, what did you say? Attitude is gratitude. Attitude, attitude is, is gratitude. gratitude you yeah. know, um, you know, keep putting up music, keep performing for as long as I yeah. can, keep working in dance. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I would love to do more commissions. You know, bring you know, be the, at the genesis of more projects. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular person that you want to work with that maybe you haven't yet? Um. Actually, there's a company out out in the West Coast, Lines Ballet. Mm -hmm. I'm you're dying to work with them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> but a lot of this, but the, you know, this this city is so rich mm -hmm. for companies. I mean, it's just again, yeah. it's overflowing, and yeah. that saying no thing is really difficult. But yeah, you know, that's great. We have a lot here. <laughs> well, we have a lot to to look forward to this yeah. summer with Summer Stage. Congratulations on your Thank you. upcoming Thank you. project, and Appreciate you know, Danny, with everything that mm -hmm. you're doing. Mm -hmm. I start start my volunteer work I think on June eleventh. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, so you'll be seeing me out yeah. there. And um, we're going to be closing mm -hmm. the show very soon. But before we do, um, I'm also a volunteer for the ASPCA, mm -hmm. and 
what I'm doing is uh, working with them on adopt a pet program. <laughs> so every week we're going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, a few animals that they have available. Oh. And if you can't adopt an animal, it would be great for you to volunteer because they all need some time and attention. The dogs need to be walked and the cats mm -hmm. need to be petted and, and such. And uh, it's really uh, important for the animals, as well as yourself. I think it's really good to help give back. So if the control room can roll in our first, our first, oh, look Whoa. at that. <laughs> that is Banksy. And Hi, Banksy's Banksy. a nine-month-old Sharpay Chihuahua mix. Wow. He gets very attached to the people he knows best, but gets uncomfortable around strangers and new things. <laughs> oh, Banksy would love to thrive in a home with another confident canine pal <laughs> so that he can learn that unfamiliar things aren't so scary after all. <laughs> An adults only home in a quiet area would be ideal for this handsome dog. Oh. Isn't it great to have a little bio, you know, <laughs> on the animal that you're going to... It's a really amazing so program funny. that ASPC has. I have just started, I've gone through some initial training uh, with them, and it's really the, the care and the attention mm -hmm. and the program that they have with these animals is really great. So, um, control room, can we see animal number two? Oh! oh. <laughs> I have two orange tabbies at home, and I can tell you they're the most wonderful cats in the whole world. This is Clementine. Clementine Ooh. is a two-year-old, very energetic, intelligent, brisky cat. Now that sounds like mm. my Swisher, okay? <laughs> this one is a female though, Clementine. She loves to play and has great problem-solving abilities. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Crossword puzzles? <laughs> <laughs> I thought mice, but you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She'd love a home with someone who wants to play with her a ton and provide her with lots of enrichment opportunities. She also loves attention, but she prefers to approach on her own terms, which I think a lot of cats do. Mm -hmm. But once she does, she's a perfect machine. Perfect right, machine. Of course, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. She enjoys the company of people, but unfortunately not other cats. So oh. this is a solo home for cats. Isn't that just adorable? So I mean, cute. I gasped when I saw this I one because it looks exactly like my Swisher. Oh. I have two cats. Do oh, you? And I'm fostering a kitten right now, oh. a three-week-old. Well, they have that with oh. um, ASPCA. What is it like to foster a cat? You know, I f we found it on a shoot we were doing for Speak. Mm. And uh, it was really, it's just... It's interesting. I mean, I really like it's having a baby at home. I have these two big ones, but it's like I have to wake up. I'm worried the air conditioning, it's too cold. Oh. Making sure, oh. you know, because uh -huh. he really was a mess in the beginning. Oh. Like the eyes were stuck together and oh. couldn't breathe, but he's doing great. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. His name is Charlie. 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 <laughs> hey, Very listen, cute. we're down to the last five Yay. seconds. Oh, my goodness, we're going away. We'll see you soon next oh. week. Bye. Yay. See you. <laughs>